Okay, good morning. Welcome to Matthew Math number 7. Matthew Math number 7. Here's the mark. So this is a, uh, a problem from your Math Club's homework that gave you a little bit of trouble this morning. Mm -hmm. um, Casey's jogging speed is 60% faster than her walking speed. The time it takes her to walk a mile is 5 and 1 half minutes longer than the time it takes her to jog a mile. How many seconds does it take Casey to jog a mile? Okay. Alright. Cool. So, um, uh, what gave you a hard time with this? Well, I just couldn't, I couldn't figure out the speeds in relation to each other. Okay. But, first of all, the six, is, for Casey's jogging speed is 60% faster than her walking speed. Does that mean her walking spe speed plus 60% of her walking speed is her running speed? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Well, that's, that's one spot where I goofed up. Okay. I thought it was the running speed minus 60% of the running speed. Ah, uh, no, actually those are going to be, end up being different numbers. So, uh, that's a good question. Casey's jogging speed is 60% faster than her walking speed. So that means we're going to take her walking speed and then add 60% of it to get her jogging speed. This is, okay, good question, though. Alright, so the time it takes her to walk a mile is five and a half minutes longer than it takes her to jog a mile. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Why? So, she walks slower than she runs. Walks slower than she runs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have to figure out how many seconds does it take her to jog a mile. Okay. All right. So, oops. No, we're okay. So, all well, the jogging speed is J, and right. the walking speed is W. Alright. So, W plus 60% of W is the jogging speed. Okay. And how do we write the second part in an equation? Hmm. Yeah, good question. Because we have to figure out how many... Like, how long does it take her to jog a mile in terms of J? Alright, what was J? J was her jogging speed. Okay. J was her jogging speed. So how long does it take her? How do you figure that out? How long does it take to jog a mile if you know her jogging speed? Hmm. Well... It'll be jogging speed times something. Or, no, I'm not sure. So, the time it takes her to jog a mile, that's her, that's her speed, her jogging speed. Okay. Well, speed is. Well, we have to figure out the time it takes her to jog a mile. Okay. So if speed is distance times speed is distance times time. Speed is distance times time. What? Tom, explain to me. Explain to me why you wrote that down. Well, it involves distance times time, but I'm not sure if it's times or divided by. Tell me a speed. Well, like five miles per hour. Say that again. Five miles an hour. What does that mean? It means you're going five miles per hour. Okay, that's a speed. Right. So, it's distance over time. It's the distance miles over hours. Okay, speed is distance divided by time. Which means time is distance divided by speed. Okay. So, in this case, it's the distance is one, one mile over J. 
the time it takes her to jog a mile is 1 over j. Okay. So. Alright, let's, let's go to part B. Alright. We've gone five minutes.